Hola! What is this? Bachelor party? Oh, Ilium. Ilium, Ilium, Ilium. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant, and I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. Uh, I did with numbers, and I thought was... I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. <laughs> I will take care of you. I will take care of you. <laughs> so slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse, Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What, what if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what Quest. I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Walker. I, I come from I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. <laughs> End of story. Hello. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athena Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. 
but nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise <laughs> counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Father. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. <laughs> I go for ass. As a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Mm. Goddess, that was embarrassing. Mm. <laughs> if your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? A thousand years ago. I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a <laughs> kick in the quad. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the destiny ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't what they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. <laughs> What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. <laughs> Buka lah sendiri Buka pun tak pandai Bye. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Seven centuries. That one looking pretty. Tell me about yourself, baby. What's it like being in a sorry matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Hey! Up! Yeah. 
goyang-goyang gitu Bye. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Koreans. You'll get cramps. Oh, no. That you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Hey, up with you. Can I help you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Corian and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry had better be good, though. <laughs> Sounds like me. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Bye, Tali. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some humans go. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You find someone out there who cares about who you are. Someone who is food. Garus. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. What? If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Freedom Flotel. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Orian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. Oh, and I hear that the love scenes are. Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. What? Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Conversation. Let the space, please. Ah, A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated. You might, Mr. Anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this world. Ah. I own you. Okay. 
How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business. Oh, yeah, that's... Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse. But if that gate opens too wide, investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological discoveries may the market balance and cost skilled workers their jobs. Later today, we'll hear from survey teams talking about the latest technology. You Listen, will be able I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. Cost. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, what? Well, are you talking about? we'll just have to hope. You're talking to me? Excuse me, I'm on an important Ah, def! Ha 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 Shipping. Serena. Ooh. Human. Chai 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 Sorry, I'm busy right now. God damn it. Dua orang busy. Serena dengan lebih ya. Haru. Eh, how you doing? In the form of a rare Jessicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview, leaving us in the dark about what brought a Jessicar to the... Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Police! No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Eh, can I move? Officer, police. Ah, Bob Shepard. I, I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Gethsemane. What do you do? Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved Thorian. me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. What is Thorian? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. Thorian? We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? Yes. I was asking that. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. 
Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Mm. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. Mm, that's it has nerve. to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Let I'll me do talk it. To the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Bye, Shiala. Hello, Poris. Nothing to declare? Damn you, Poris. Damn you. your conversation human you're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists <sighs> and Pharaoh signed I suggest you leave Whoa. your life is short enough do not waste what time you have bothering me why are you so angry why are you insisting on these tests what use could they possibly be their use is not your concern a legal binding contract was signed nothing else matters all of you humans Salarius Turians, you come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Wow, so angry. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away. Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge. Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy. The other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. <laughs> That's <laughs> so easy, baby. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. <laughs> what do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. Again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. 
I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. That's hmm. that's smooth, Shiala. You know, Irina won't even talk to the non Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she me. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Hello? I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's, 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 it's all locked down. Eclipse marks, some just a car. I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, mm. which is why we're going to be rich. Mm. Let me check this. It's a nice city. Eh, Tali. I'm on a call again. <laughs> <laughs> what a you sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. The Hello. store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. I don't have money. Yes. Power damage. What is power damage? God damn it, why so expensive? I wish I could sell. Kalau beli jual, dapat duit. Memories of Ilium. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Oh. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Good one, Cha. Huh? Oh, what hello. Do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Oh, yeah, good. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> so why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids, he can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. <laughs> it doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> so real. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, 
I've given you a discount at the terminal. Damn, I I, I bought help. already. Ah, give my money back. Oh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Project. Yeah. What discount, Yanni? What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Ah, I'm going discount. Okay, good. Why not? Every assault good. has Good. I don't have money fish. anymore, baby. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Alright, Dali. It's just... We're looking for Someone weapons. Game. Shouldn't you be taking Racing it up. seriously? Ah! Hey, I'm 60 years old and... For example, you know that new drug? The one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charge for 50 hours plus overtime. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an asari herself, had pure blood kids. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. And everything's for sale. Even we can't have monitors and investigate the number of trading irregularities. Navicorp exists. Navicorp exists. Navicorp exists. Navicorp Got it, got it, got it, baby. Your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and it's a little bit of 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 a of contacts. But I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Wow. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Mixeris. Ooh. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Oh. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Yeah, what happened? Jelly the habit. Oh! Oh my god! Wow, how? <laughs> Buka lah Buka lah topi My sources mm. said you were alive But I never believed mm -mm. It's very good to see you You have sources now? A few Sources, contacts Even a little hired muscle I've been working as an information broker It's paid the bills since you Well for the past two years, and now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. No trouble. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. Key points around Ilium? would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. 
It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that mm. short time. Okay, good, 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 good. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. Oh, wow, serious, so Shepard. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. Huh. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. There's an Asari named Samara here. You can find Dara at the transportation. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Bye. Of course. Liara. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the mm -hmm. way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, you all. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Sama Samara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Tane. I'm looking for Thang Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. 
My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has Serena. an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the <laughs> dig <laughs> is still smell. <laughs> <laughs> scientist, eh? <laughs> Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I know you're looking for the shadow broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between shadow broker operatives. Some hint says to the location and That's him? About Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. Yeah. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You saved me. You kept me out of the collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel. They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. Nah. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Sounds like you and Farron were close. <laughs> but in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. If he's been the Shadow Broker's prisoner for two years, he may not be in good shape. I know. But yesterday, all I wanted was the chance to avenge his death. Today he's alive. I'll do whatever I have to do to get him back. Any yeah. friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? Oh, I, Kasumi, what would... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Hmm. How about the... Dang. What are you doing? Hacking. <laughs> Serena. Dara Dua je Banyak-banyak aku cakap You Atelier A regional hub of Asari commerce awash in riches, mm. Ilium is infamous for its abusive labor practices and legalization of nearly everything except murder. As such, Ilium is the preferred production site for weapons and pharmaceuticals mm. that would be illegal nearly everywhere else, made even more lucrative by legal indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. Among the biotics-related pharmaceutical Glamour. producers is the Dantius Corporation. A rising star in galactic commerce. Despite the dangers of its products, Ilium is renowned for glamour, luxury, and safety, provided by near total surveillance, making it a favored tourist destination. What? Countless celebrities maintain palatial estates on Ilium and in its capital, Nos Astra. The sole obstacle to business on Ilium is its extensive bureaucracy, tolerated only for its provision of security. Regardless of the character of its economy, Ilian's self-congratulatory media exalts its own society with the provincial arrogance of new money. 
glorifying in sexiest CEOs what? and ten richest residents lists. The heck? To Chanka. Good. Bila ku heck? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Take a cap to the apartment nanti Serena Dengan Alvisa Miranda Oh Lente ya Lente ya dekat Eternity Lounge Aku dah pergi Blood pack base. What? What? Sit down. Anywho. Targeting Follow up service Not employed so, Okay mm. Good What's the time? Good. Discipline, teamwork, confidence. When you join the Blue Suns Mercenary you're getting a crack. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulation is compatible. We'll cut you a path to the future. Infinity Lounge. Yes. Lantea. Oh, they got to be too good. Excuse me. Ah. Ah. Can I Miranda? wants to know name Shepard Liara to Sony said you might have information on Thane Krios Tana cover for me over here yeah I know who Thane Krios is I might have passed him some information but I didn't hire him what do you want to know maybe you could help me find him <laughs> I can tell you but you won't stop him when he contacted me I checked up on him the man never gives up on a job. Never I ran security up. for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. Kenapa I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Kenapa dia tak kena bunuh? <laughs> if you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill. As long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. 
So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana's just gonna let me in. <laughs> She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Oh. Nobody hired him. Oh. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. Of his life? I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't Gaff care why thing. he does it. That's not a name of a Gaff. You're just offering your help. No strings mm, attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears mm. when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Good. Pati aku pergi office darah sepatutnya. Okay. It's an ambush, right? Hmm. Zaid. Yakko. Why not? Let's go. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. Mm -hmm. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. Hey, Yako! There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. Let's right, go! Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Tak eksiden ke? Kita ada jalan Tak ada jalan raya Don't linger too long, they'll be here to greet you soon enough Good luck, Shepard Tane Honey, query. Sorry, Salarian. This should take the heat off. Nice. Nah. Hi, Miranda. Let's go. Workers. Nasana, 
sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way. What the hell was that? Then... <coughs> <laughs> He's hurt pretty bad. He needs some help. I'm here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Oh. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nissana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nissana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges mm. to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Wait, huh? It's another one, isn't it? Rain, put it. Put it. Rain, kichi. Ah! Put it. Rain, kichi. Put it. Rain, kichi. Okay. All right. Let's go. Sniper rifle. Toys. Nothing's gonna hurt me now. Yeah, cool. Barriers up! 
main game lah What are you doing? Good, good. Oh, I don't have time. I need to stop. Oh, do 
duit lah Aku cuba duit lah Viper, sniper rifle Wihi Ah ya Duit babe Okay. Oren putih sikit Oren putih sikit Shepard Garus Zaid Not me Ah Shepard aku lah Is this the one? Suka Ni sebenarnya One shot Ooh. Ah oh. Selamatkan Oh Please Don't kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us. Yes. Right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a Merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Little protective for an assassin. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working. <laughs> Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends mm. to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. You should go. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Ah! Ha 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 Yes, give me some money. Hey, apa barang? Okay. I got a feeling that elevator isn't coming down empty. We should find cover quickly. Have a pleasant day. Hey. Kill them! Ah, oh, damn. Nothing's gonna hurt me now. <laughs> Krogan. Taking cover. Sala. Take powers. I haven't heard from teams four or five. <sighs> don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Oh. We 
We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. You have no name. Control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. I hope you can fly. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. <laughs> Kirosa. Oh, I'm, I'm on the call again. Yeah. Okay, time to stop. Sambung lagi. Bye bye, Johnny. Tak habis habis.